Just uh, talk about getting this win and, and you know, um, finishing out the season like you guys did. Yeah, it's good. It's a good, uh, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to finish. A great opportunity for for our program to, you know, to go against these programs that've been in this in this division for you know years upon end. It's been a long time since a team has even been able to compete against the Naptos around here. Uh, so we're just thankful for the opportunity. And uh, uh, our guys really came out and, uh, you know, gave it their all and um, they stuck together. And, and it, it was, it, it, I'm just very proud to be a part of what we're building. It's the it's, uh, first time, I, I believe, since 2009, mm -hmm. since you guys have beaten Naptos. Just, um, you know, just kind of talk about that and just kind of this moment. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. I think you know my um, my my brother went to Soka. He's probably on that team that the last team that beat him. And he's been graduating. You know, he's thirty something years old now. So, um, and got kids. But, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say you might have been on that team, but you're 05, right? Yeah, no, I'm four. I'm okay, four, okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, I mean, it, it's it, it, but it, it's a it's a show of of their dominance and 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 what they've been able to build. Um, and and you know what 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 uh, yeah I mean they've they, they've been put in some situations where uh, they competed at such a high level and have been so consistent and their players work hard and you know it's, that's what it takes you know that's that's the bare minimum and then there's an internal belief that you have to have um, and you have to go through experiences it's not like they were a program that just off the jump just took over mm -hmm. you know what I mean it was progressive there, there's there's probably some buy-in there's probably some guys that needed to move out and. You know, they just built it the right way and are able to sustain it. So, you know, they should be very proud of that. Did, did, did your players treat this as a change in the guard? And I don't know if that's a fair statement, given that they've won four CCS titles. I don't I don't think we've treated it as a change in the guard. I, I just felt like it was just an opportunity for our team and our mm -hmm. program. Um, you know, it, they have a very challenging offense to defend. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, but we, we, have, we, we have some very uh, talented players. Um, you know, it's a, it, it's never, you know, you, you have these teams and it's always a combination, right? It's a combination of coaching, it's a combination of players, but at the end of the day, those guys have to go out there and do it. And, and they did such a great job of, of uh, executing and, and, and keeping that belief and it was beautiful to watch. I, I know they say the, the, the most recent game is the most important, but was when you knew you were making the jump and we, we wanted to see this game last year and, and we finally get to, did you sleep well? What was your excitement level like? You know, oh, what, what I mean, mean to you? Very excited. Um, again, you know, it's the opportunity. Uh, I, when I was a senior, I didn't get to play against that toss. Uh, so it's an opportunity for me in terms of, of competing. Um, you know, it's the seniors that played against them uh, four years ago here, uh, you know, during the COVID year and stuff like that. Um, you know, they put it on them or they put it on us. Yeah. And, um, you know, that stuff sticks with you for a very long. I mean, obviously, you know, through your progression, it's motivating in the off season and, yeah. And all those types of things. So, you know, it's a culmination of a lot of things that that led us to this moment. And, and for us, we just took it as an opportunity, and, and we responded well. You got a guy across the way that's been doing this for 50 years. <laughs> you, you know, joined the ranks not too long ago. But just kind of talk about, I don't know, you know, just Randy and just what what he brought to this area and just to high school football. Well, I mean, he certainly elevated the level of uh, of of. Um, of football uh, at the high school level. Um, you know, I, I don't, you know, when I was here, it was probably like maybe like SOV who was, who was dominant during that time. But, you know, what he's been able to bring here in terms of uh, the expectation um, and, and that just because, you know, we're labeled as a surf town or, or this, that, and the other, that doesn't mean that you can't put together a team to go out and compete and win and win championships and play at a high level. Um, so, you know, I'm thankful for that being from this area um, because, you know, football kind of gets a little bit of a stigma depending on who you talk to or, 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 or how they feel about the game. Um, so, you know, what, what he's done has been much more or it's been much more deep than just playing on the field. Um, he's provided great opportunities for young men to grow um, uh, together um, as, a, as, as a group. Um, and it, it, they, I'm sure they have experiences that they will keep for the rest of their lives. And um, I'm sure that they're very thankful for what he's been able to provide uh, for this area, for this program, and for football in this area. Provided you guys do get a first-round home game, thoughts on hosting the CCS? I mean, that's been a while too, you know? And, and what's your excitement level like regardless of who you play? 
I mean, you know, it, it's always exciting to, to be in the postseason and be able to extend your season. Uh, it means that you're taking care of business from um, when you've had the opportunity to. Um, and anytime you have a team with, with, with players that are marquee players, you know, you, you definitely want to put yourself in a position where you can compete at the postseason level. And we've been able to do that. And hopefully, you know, this is the start of, of, a, of a run that we can go on. And, and, and hopefully the younger guys that are coming up can, um, can understand what the expectation, that they have to raise their level of expectation, not just on the field, but how they prepare and, yeah. and all those types of things. So, again, it's a beautiful opportunity. Given where you were and you guys got some transfers that became eligible, uh, but against Los Gatos and Salinas, and that league opener, did you – Expectations. I mean, for your last couple of performances, have been flat out dominant. You know, and did you think that? When did you think that was going to become a reality? You know, getting them from point A to point B. I, you know, I mean, I, I don't, I don't ever go into a game think we're going to lose. Um, you know, the expectation is to win. Now, depending on who you have, you may have to play a certain way for that to happen. You may have to have some things go in your in your favor. Uh, but at the end of the day, you always come with a plan to win, and then it's about can you execute that plan, and then. You know, can you cause issues for the opponent? And, um, you know, there, but it, it, even in those games that we did lose and, and decisively lost, there were some good things that we showed. There were some good things that we did that we were able to build on. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what helped carry us through. And obviously you get players back and, you know, but every every team, every program deals with situations with players. Uh, and, and, and sometimes you have the guys that you want, sometimes you don't. And, you know, you just make it work from there. This team's streaking at the right time. Yeah, I, I believe so. I, I really do believe so. I, I feel that, um, you know, our team chemistry has, has jumped up significantly. Um, you know, it's at, to the point to where it's almost, uh, I don't want to say annoying, but it's kind of hard to, to to bring their attention back to what we're doing, yeah. you know. But it, so it's a good, it's good and bad, right? Because you can have teams that, you know, may have good players, but uh, the chemistry is off and, and sometimes they don't play to the level that they could. So it's great. I'm grateful to have the, the chemistry that these guys have and to be a part of it and uh, everything like that. Awesome. Awesome.